this is the 2021 Nissan Navara Warrior based on the Premium Pro 4X model. It uh, is effectively now the flagship model of the D23 Navara range following in the tyre tracks of the original Warrior that was based on the Premium model then which was the N-Track. So what is the Warrior? Well it's basically a, um, an enhanced, uh, more capable I guess version of the, the D23 Navara, the top shelf model, the Pro 4X, uh, developed by Nissan Australia's engineering partner Premcar in Melbourne and uh, the roots of Premcar go back through uh, Ford Special Vehicles and before that Tickford Vehicle Engineering. So this is a bunch of engineers who really know how to build special vehicles to meet uh, OEM standards so it's a, obviously a high quality product. Let's have a look around it you can see on the front here this big uh, bull bar and uh, it's also got an integrated LED light bar across the front of it. It's also winch capable you can fit a winch inside that so um, make it even more capable off-road. It's also got a lot of underbody armor as you can see by this uh, bright red uh, Navara bash plate under here and there's further body protection underneath. You can see these big Cooper Discoverer tyres, 17 inch, big meaty boots on the ground. It's also got a unique um, decal kit you can see along the side there and uh, Pro 4X Warrior decals on the back so um, it's certainly a good looking machine from outside. And uh, this suspension is um, had quite a substantial rework. It's uh, increased the ride height by about 40 millimetres. It's got uh, unique uh, springs, unique shocks, uh, different bump rubbers, wider track. So it's been quite an extensive rework of the standard suspension to improve the handling, ride and performance both on road and off. But the good thing is this isn't uh, a show pony by any means. Even though they've modified the suspension to enhance those performance credentials. It still maintains its 3.5 ton uh, towing capacity and it's got a really good payload. It's right up 950 kilograms uh, which is pretty close to a ton so you know that's pretty good in terms of its um, versatility in a wide variety of uh, work and play roles. So you can see it's a big tough looking machine and I pointed out about having that wider track and the bigger boots you can see it's got these unique uh, wheel arch flares as well. So it's quite a good looking machine, very tough, very capable and uh, probably time we take it for a drive. Okay, so we're underway in the Navara Warrior Pro 4X and um, given that uh, most of the re-engineering work on this vehicle has been focused on you know, wheels, tyres, suspension, chassis, that sort of thing, uh, it keeps the standard Pro 4X drivetrain which is uh, the 2.3 litre twin turbo four cylinder diesel which has about 140 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque, which may not be class leading, but it's more than ample for a vehicle of this specification. And that's matched with the excellent seven speed torque converter automatic, which uh, gives you the option of uh, four different driving modes to suit different driving conditions. And you also have the option of manual shifting in sport mode. So. It's a very good transmission for this engine and uh, pretty much gets the best performance out of it in most driving conditions. So in terms of what Premcar have done, uh, they've effectively turned this into, you could say, the toughest D23 Navara in the world. The uh, work they've done on the suspension is excellent and I guess in a nutshell, you know, we could go into all the technical descriptions of the changes that they've done but we really don't have the time in this format. So in a nutshell, I would just say that they've achieved the holy grail in terms of not only improving its uh, 
smoothness, its comforts, its ride quality and handling in off-road conditions. But those enhancements have also been made in terms of its on-road performance. So you get the best of both worlds, a much more smooth yet very controlled ride off-road and good precise disciplined handling on-road. And uh, that's a pretty nice mix to have. And given the background of the Prem car and the uh, amazing engineering work they did on Hot Falcons and various other things before the advent of Prem car, I'm not surprised that they've been able to achieve such a good balance in the suspension tuning on this vehicle. So the verdict, well, I'll look at it this way. Even though the chassis modifications aren't as extensive as the vehicle that's obviously inspired by the the uh, Ranger Raptor and it doesn't have ultimately the plushness of ride that the Raptor has it has a number of advantages and they are that it hasn't lost its 3.5 ton towing capacity whereas the Raptor is only 2.5 ton and it also has a much larger payload capacity than the Raptor uh, 200 kilos plus more than the than the Raptor so higher towing capacity higher payload capacity and significantly it's also about ten thousand dollars cheaper than the Raptor so when you put all those things together for someone who's looking for a great all-rounder then this car or this truck I should say would have plenty of appeal so like all these things it's a matter of horses for courses and the buyer weighing up most important what's most important to them